Oh no, we're never gonna find out what's in the chest. I'll live. Oh, there it is. Now, is it? Is it blue? Is it blue? That is the question. Is it a blue amulet? That's all I really want to know. Is it blue? No, it's not. Oh, that's disappointing. Hmm, some more coffins. Not that I'm into raiding coffins or anything. Oh! Who's that? Who's that? Oh, no, it's... Look, uh, uh, just stop right there, all right? It's to Kalthar! I can't let you leave with that amulet. I need it right now. No, me, me, me. It's mine. My amulet. Why do you want it? I took the other one, and that should have been enough. I shouldn't have to go through all this just to get rid of her. It's not even as if I was going to keep it forever. I was going to give it back to her once I'd gotten what I wanted. That's not so wrong, is it? It would appear that I've won my bet with myself. Once she helped me advance out of that place and step down, then she could have it back. Why did you have to get in the way? Why are you trying to ruin everything? Because I don't like you. Why are you trying to kill me? Because I know that you are, even though you haven't done anything yet. <laughs> ah, oh, I've got a shield. <laughs> you have know, a surprisingly hardy constitution, sir. And I have no mushroom suit Hmm. Okie doke. What are we going to do about this? Right, so let's have a look. Damage magic. That's probably not a bad idea, as I'm just he's going to yeah. Um, then that's about it. Oh dear. Well, it looks suspiciously like I might be out of luck here, actually. Um, because that's red, and that's not good at all. Um, yeah. I need to get away. And I need to get away quite rapidly, and I desperately need some sort of potiony something. And frankly, none of these are helping. Um, ooh, we're still magic. Eat the mushroom. Eat lots of the mushroom. Oh, <gasps> eat loads of the mushroom. Shock the man. Oh no, heal myself first. Heal myself before shock. Healing before shock. That's important. Yes, indeed. It. Oh, look at my unlimited supply of mushroom-powered magic. Excuse me, sir. Could you please stop stabbing me? No, really. Because it's getting a bit old. Oh, where have you gone? Where are you? Well, I didn't want to kill him much. Nice pose. Anyway, right. He's got some books. He's got a key. He's got some gold. How much encumbrance have I got left? Not a bad amount. Not a bad amount. I shall, I shall go looting, I think. Yes, looting. That's what I'll do. Well, I'm feeling quite disturbed frankly, that somebody I trusted, not very much, admittedly, but, you know, had, had to talk to at some point in my life, um, appears to have attempted to lock me in a dungeon. Not trust anybody these days, can you? Right, have they got any food? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Great. Okay. Extra door here. Staircase. No, I'll go back the way I came. It's safer. We'll leave the man under the bridge. He deserves it. We'll avoid the absolutely pathetic trap. Because it deserves it. And we'll loot the bodies of these people in this room. Because they deserve it. Except I can't find them. And there's nothing in there. I'm sure I left bodies in this room. Was it not this room? Apparently not. Okay. My memory's failing me as well now. I need potions. Oh, it's this room. This room with the bodies. Right. So, what we got? What we got? Some bits and pieces and things. Where was the guy with the really expensive armour? I better have walked past him now, haven't I? Because I'm not very good at things like this and I tend to forget everything about... Well, everything. Hmm. Now I'm going to need... Where is it? Where's it gone? That. Right. Oh, now I'm running fast. Boom.
Oh no. Oh, I can't do this. Oh well, in that case. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm alright with that. I, I'm alright with that. I don't mind. Dropping one, that's fine. I'm just really annoyed with myself that I've forgotten where the bloke with the really expensive one was. But never mind, it's fine. Right, I just want to get out of here. I don't want to be finding any more lunatics. I haven't got enough cooking ingredients to be dealing with lunatics. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the expense of dead people. Not at all. What am I doing? Um, inventory. 279 out of 280. Oh, that's not so good. Oh, I know it's raining. Oh. I shall tramp back through the rain, having killed any number of people to get some stupid amulet that I'm not even going to keep. One thing I do know is that when I get back to town and have had a sleep, I am very much going to have to reload and restock. The best goods and guarantees was a complete trading standards issue because they didn't have the best goods. And there wasn't any guarantee that you would give me a decent price. So that's disgusting and I will be reporting it at some point. Dark Fathom Cave. That sounds exactly like the sort of place I'd be wanting to spend a rainy evening. Unfortunately, I don't have time. I have more important things to do. Like going back to town and reporting how many people I've killed. The Mages Guild would be very, very impressed at my use of shock. The rest of you? Not so much. Oops, that's a tree. Oh, I'm even walking into trees now. This is going downhill fast. Right, what time are we on? Oh my god, it's three o'clock in the morning. Okay, well, the shops are definitely not going to be open unless there's some sort of 24-hour Asda around here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a shop and I'm going to leave my stuff outside. Because by the time I wake up in the morning, I'm not going to be able to do anything at all. Where did they go? Oh, they're there. Oh, that's alright then. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the Guild of Mages, if I can find it. Because it took me bloody hours last time. I'm going to have a sleep. I'm going to tell the crazy woman that I've got her amulet. And then hopefully that only leaves one or two people left to impress before I too am a mage, a proper mage, with access to magey things. It's very quiet around here, but it would be because at least one of them's dead. Right, as ever with the Mages Guild, trying to find a bed is the worst bit of all. And the number of hotels I've stayed in because there are no beds is an absolute disgrace. What do I pay my subscription fee for? There aren't even any beds. Nice library. But there aren't even any beds. What's the point of this? And now I'm lost. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, right, let's go over here. God, it's just doors, doors, doors everywhere. Doors, doors, doors and no beds. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, I hate you all. I hate how you walk and sleep and I can't. I hate it. Fine. In that case, I'm going to have to go off and find a pub. I hate you all and you'll pay for this. In some way or other. I'll... I'll... Nick your food. Yes. Yes, that is what I will do. Yes, I will nick your food. That good company hall. No, I need an inn. I need an inn. Stupid Majors Guild. Honestly, you pay your subs. 
your pay subs, you're out on the street in the middle of the night. It's not safe. Three sisters in, that'll do me. I'm going to tell all three sisters of the absolute outrage that is the Mages Guild. Well, you found the three sisters. Beds and food. Not cheap, but you get what you pay for. You don't with the bloody Mages I'm Guild. I'm Shuravi, the sister that works and worries. Shamada is sweet and decorative. Shomara is dumb as a post, but she can cook, at least. I like her best, then. I have just the thing for you. A lovely suite on the second floor for only 40 gold a night. Quite a steal. Interested? A suite? I don't want a suite. Actually, yeah, I do. Of course you will. You'd be silly not to. It's just up the stairs there. Second floor, the east wing. All the comforts of home. I don't have a home. Bye. This isn't going to be terribly comfortable, is it? Right, did she say upstairs? Somewhere? East Wing? Hang on a minute, this looks like the Mages Guild. There's some sort of racket going on here, isn't there? No beds in the Mages Guild, but we'll happily give you a suite for 40 gold pieces. Oh, yes. There's fruit here. I should be remembering that later. Is this it? Is this the suite? Wow. Got me own living room as well. What have we got then? Apples. Strawberries. Don't think I've ever had strawberries before. Well, hello, strawberries. Ah, how lovely. As you can see, it's bright daylight outside. I'll try that again. It's bright daylight outside at four o'clock in the morning. But finally, a bed. Oh, it's actually five o'clock in the morning. Well, three hours of sleep will do me. Wow. How exciting! Right. Um. Well. Agility. Maneuver and balance, total fatigue, damage done by bows. Endurance, health. I think I do need some more health. How much I can carry? Total magic. I definitely need that. How quickly I regenerate magic. No, not, not terribly useful. Personality. People like me more. They like me anyway. Let's take strength. Of Jesus, there. Town of Fruit. We're just walking past the uh, the watermelon shop, and uh, into the Guild of Mangoes. Where is she? No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Greetings, Evolver. Aha! Uh -huh. Right, but you stinking on your look. has changed, child. Oh, I think it has. I think it has changed. I think you'll find. Found it, have you? Silenced the hands that betrayed and took what was mine? Then let me have the stones so that the voices can be shut out. Bogak Grobol had... Ah, <laughs> oh, child, I thank Even you I'm Bogak. hearing voices now. With the voices quieted for now, the words you seek have come to me. You shall have my recommendation. Yes! Though I must warn you, I've seen things in your future. Things which may be, and things which will be. It will be up to you to decide the fate of many. Life and death are strange things, easily manipulated, and both will be altered by your hands. Ladies and gentlemen, come back in the next episode and I will decide your fate. I accept credit cards. Gameplay Jenny! Yeah!